Hi everyone, back here again for another video. In my last video, I made the ultimate low-budget iPad setup. Today, I'm showing another iPad setup, but this is something not at the very low end, and I'll also show other useful but still very affordable accessories. In this setup, I decided to use this stand. This is a monitor stand from IKEA that we all know is really cheap but built really well. So aside from using it with my monitor or my laptop, I am using this as an iPad stand as well. I can also use the iPad without the stand, but raising it a bit, as we know, is better for our posture. The other accessory I'm adding in this setup is the Soundpeach TrueAir 2. Using this helps me to be productive as I can listen to focus music or for entertainment like watching YouTube. It's a good quality and again, a budget option for a good pair of earphones. I made a dedicated video for this wireless earphones, so check it out after watching this. Now let's have a look at the first keyboard and mouse combo to complete this iPad setup. And by the way, my iPad is the iPad Air 3. This is the K380 and the M350 Pebble Mouse combo. I always call this pink, but in Logitech's website, they call it Rose. So this is the Rose K380 keyboard and M350 Pebble Mouse. In Logitech's website, this combo costs $70, well, $69.98 to be exact. But maybe in some countries, this combo may not be available. But anyway, if you get it separately, the cost will end up to be the same. You can also find cheaper options like in online shops in Asia like Lazada or Shopee. There are some on sale. But again, just make sure you buy from a reliable seller. Those that I found in Lazada can go as low as 54 US dollars once, well, depending on the conversion rate. In Amazon, there's also a cheaper option, uh, not that big of a difference uh, directly from Logitech's website, but still, you have the option to get it from Amazon. If you have been in my channel and have watched my other videos, you will know I love my K380 keyboard. And if you haven't watched my other videos, go watch it after this. I love the minimal design and the overall small size of this keyboard. Without the numerical keypad, it's more ergonomic to use and I can use for any type of setup, whether it's on the go or just here on my desk. This small size keyboard then comes with smaller keys and a unique one, I must say, as we don't see round keys a lot on keyboards. I love the quiet typing feel on the K380 keyboard. So here are some typing sounds and at the same time a typing test. And let's see how fast I can type on the K380. Another feature that's a selling point for me and I think for most of us is that the K380 can connect to three devices, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, an Android phone, or a Windows laptop. And switching is so easy. And there are also the function keys that are available and can be used on the iPad. So with a budget price, the K380 comes packed with features. Check out my other videos where I showed in detail how to connect the K380 and how to use it with the iPad. Check out the links in the description box below. On the other hand, the Pebble mouse does not have many features. It's a simple mouse and only simple customizations can be done here. Make sure that you turn on assistive touch in the iPad settings. From the setting, 
Here is where you can change how the mouse keys work. When I use it, I use the left and right keys as usual and the scrolling um, using the wheel. And I can change the scroll wheel button action here in the device settings. Again, just make sure that assistive touch is on so you can use these customizations. This mouse is the definition of a minimalist mouse. Even the clicks are minimalist because you can hardly hear any sound as this is a silent mouse. Now on to our next setup. Another budget-friendly keyboard and mouse that can be paired with the iPad is the Logitech K480 keyboard and the M585 mouse. Now, this is an option quite opposite of the K380 and the Pebble Mouse combo, but the price is somehow almost the same, though these two are sold separately. The K480 costs $49.99 in Logitech's website, but again, you can find in other online shops for something cheaper, like in Amazon, you could get it for around $33. But that is for the black one. The white one would cost around $44, $45 in Amazon. Still a bit cheaper compared to Logitech's website. Now as for the M585 mouse from Logitech's website, it costs $40. But again, you can find cheaper options in Amazon for around $33. Here in Thailand, I'm quite lucky to have bought this in a much cheaper price where I got it for around $20. The M585 and the K480 are definitely different from the K480 and Pebble Mouse because these are bigger and makes more sound. The K480 size is definitely bigger and comes with this dock to put in your iPad or your iPhone. The K480's keys are also way bigger compared to the K380 and has the more mechanical keyboard feel. Here are some typing sounds and also a monkeytype.com test. Let's see if I type faster or slower on the K480. The M585 mouse is definitely bigger than the Pebble mouse and this has a more ergonomic form where I can rest my palm on. And the clicks are definitely louder. So here we have it, another two options to make the iPad a productive setup. Here is the breakdown of how much each setup costs. A bit over $100, but if you take out the stand and the earbuds, then it will be a setup below $100. Super budget friendly, but high in quality devices. So hope this video helps you. Give it a like if it did. And that's it. Thanks for watching.